I don't want you guys writing anything down. I don't want you guys thinking about it. I just want you guys to watch this for a minute because this is not a knowledge-based thing I'm going to tell you guys. It's more of an insight. And what I mean by that, I'll give you guys an example. Have you guys ever had it when you forget somebody's name and you try to use your knowledge and you go, I know what, it, wait, he was in Target, he was wearing a blue shirt, and it doesn't come to you? And when does it normally come to you? Yeah, 15 minutes later, 3 in the morning, when you're in the shower, right? Yeah, and you're like, oh, that's right. But you could use all the knowledge you can have in your head and it didn't make a, make a difference, right? So one of the biggest learning lessons I learned is to use your insights to get the knowledge you need to succeed. And I'm going to give you guys a really good example of how this works, and it's really helped me out. Um, all right. All right, let's imagine for a minute that we're talking about uh, an airplane physics guy or girl. All right? This airplane physics person is going to do some engineering. So the person that works on airplanes is going to do what? He's going to, have you guys, guys heard of CADs, CAD drawings? Yeah. You guys know what that is? Yeah. What is it? Okay, what, what's, what's, what's CAD? It's a, so CAD is a computer, go ahead. Computer aided, you know why I asked him? Because I didn't know, so thank you. That's right, it's called computer aided design. So what that is, is it's um, the program that gives three dimensions to things. So if you want someone across in China to look at your drawings and designs, they can see in three dimensions and create that exact model. So that's, that's in engineering, right? Does that make sense? So there's engineering. What else is it? It's the physical things that people work on, on the airplane. So let's talk about the like, physical things like the parts, maybe the mechanics of the, of the airplane, um, the engine. Yeah, there we go. Engine, rudders, etc. And What else would be the engineering? The development. There you go. Development, anyone else? Development. So, aerodynamics, so the mathematics behind it maybe? Yeah, mathematics. Research too. Mathematics, research, all right. So, most people see the engineering, and that's what we think engineering is, right? We have some things like the drawings, physical parts, mechanics, engine development, all that, to create an airplane. I'll just write it. I was going to draw it. It's not going to work. All right. This helps create the airplane. What's that? Okay. Are you geeking out over there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, what would make the engineering better? What would make it better? If you knew the laws of gravity, would that help? Some of the physics behind it? The laws of gravity? Maybe the, some of the rules of the physics behind how things work, right? Some of the other laws, thermodynamics maybe, and some of the other things that are around. Here's what most people, and it's going to get back to you, so bear with me. I'm going to answer this question. I'm doing it in a long way, and maybe you guys will get some insight from this. What most people do in life is they focus on the engineering. I want you to imagine something. I want you to think this guy, this engineer, is walking around going, I'm trying to make this airplane fly, and I, I colored the engine green, and it's still not flying faster. And you're going, okay. And he goes, you're, and, he go, and then two days later, you go back to him, and he goes, ah, I put a better steer, steering wheel in the airplane, and it's still not going faster. You know, he's got a steering wheel. Yeah, then you would say there's no steering, exactly. So there's no steering wheel on an airplane, that tells you. So, and then you go, well, you know, you wonder what's going on, and he's trying to figure out his problem through the engineering. Now, if he went over to the physics, if he understood the laws a little bit better, and you knew that the, the wings were a little bit shorter, you could tell him, you know what, you can spend all your time changing the color, making the wheels a little bit better and prettier, but at the end of the day, your wings are a little bit too short. It's just not gonna fly. In other words, when you have more understanding of the physics of things, 
it makes the engineering a lot easier. It makes the engineering a lot more understand, uh, more comprehensible in a sense. Is that does that make sense so far? Okay. Here's what I thought were my key skills before. I thought my key skills was money. I thought my key skills was that I would get uh, with money. I would get fancy cars. I get to travel. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be. Uh, what else? What, what else? What else do we do? Some. What else? What else is some engineering's with uh, my key success? I would uh, have a dream house, right? Buy whatever my, I want. Write a book. Write a book, right? Write a book, actually. So here's the deal. Here's what I was doing in my life. My brother and I got three restaurants, and we were making more money than any doctor would at, our, at the age of, I was 23 years old. I was making some, not two restaurants, actually, or one. One or two restaurants. We were making so much money. I was like 22 years old. I was... And my, at that age, my friends, a lot of my friends didn't have the kind of money that I was making. So I would even pay for them to go on trips because I wanted my friends to come with me. I was just making a boatload of money. I realized after a while, you know, if one of the key things I wanted to do was be happy. I wanted to be happy was my, my thing. You know, that's why I joined the, the business. So I got money and it didn't make me happy. I was like, this is interesting. I'm making more money than most people. So I went down and said, well, I know what it is. If I get a cool car that's fast, that might make me happy. It, it worked for a little bit. I actually, it was, it was made me happier for a little bit. Then I got to travel. Actually, this is what we want to be at. You know, I got to, I got a nice house. I got to live in Del Mar on the ocean, uh, right on the ocean for a little bit. Um, at that time, I didn't write a book. But here's the problem, like the guy that's trying to, make his airplane fly better. I was trying to fix something with another engineering problem. And I didn't understand how happiness was even created. The physics behind how happiness is created is not by creating another engineering problem to try to fix it. Because when, like I said, when you understand how the physics works, it makes the engineering just a little bit better. So. So what's the physics behind all this then? So if, 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 if you know, with, with the airplane, the physics was he just needed to know how the laws, of, the laws of gravity worked. It would have made his life a little bit easier over here, right? I realized that my physics is that my happiness does not come from the outside world. It just doesn't work that way. So I always kept trying to find my happiness by doing the very next thing. And you know, when I got here, it just felt good for a little bit, but it just wasn't enough. And you guys ever feel that? You guys go and buy something? You guys have, have you guys ever done that? You guys been wanting this thing, maybe when you're younger, you're, it's Christmas, and you wanted that gift, and after a couple of weeks, it's just not as cool as you thought it was? No? You guys have all still like your toys? No? By a show of hands, how many guys don't like raising your hands? Okay, cool. All right, good. All right. Well, if, if you guys know what I'm talking about, my biggest realization and key was that the way I saw the world changed every single route of how things happened on this side. So I'll give you guys an example. We got a, I got an email from a customer that was really upset. Upset because her gift card didn't work. She said it was a scam. How dare you guys do this? You know, you, you guys are supposed to have your customers come in, and now when you come, we come in, we have a $10 gift card and it doesn't work. I'm never coming back. My brother and I really take pride in our restaurants, and in that moment, in that moment, I wanted to email her and say, you piece of, mm, and I wanted to type all this stuff, and my inside mode at that time was to get very angry at her because of the way I felt inside. But I, I said for my, to myself, let me wait a day, just a day and see what happens. If I still am just as upset, I'll write her the same email. What do you think happened the next day? Yeah, calm down. And what happened when I calmed down? I had a completely different outlook on the same event. Completely different outlook. The event is the same, same, same uh, customer, same email, 
but the way I thought about the event changed every single decision I decided to make from there. And so one of the biggest keys I can tell you right now is, you know, I wrote a book, and this is, and this is the first time I'm ever going to tell anybody, is I wrote this book called The Happiness Formula, which I'm very proud of. But I realized that I'm teaching people more engineering tools. And it's going to work for a lot of people. But in a way, I'm kind of going back and reversing it, saying, you don't need more tools to try to get you out of tools. So I'll tell you the big secret right now. I mean, I'm, it's really not good for my book sales, I'll be honest with you. And the book has benefited a lot of people, I'm telling you that right now. But if you guys want to succeed in your business, in your relationships, in whatever it is, family life, it's just the thinking of the, of the event that changes everything. 